Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 187. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link. And you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 185 to 202. Hey, Trick 187 is going to be similar to the formulas we've been doing in 85 and 86. But here, we're going to extract unique records from a set of records here unique records with a formula and it will be a dynamic formula so as we change things or add things to the bottom over here it will uh, automatically update over here now uh, as I said in these videos these tricks are much easier if you use advanced filter and I have a, a videos on using advanced filter to extract unique records much easier but here if you really do need a dynamic formula here's here's one way to do it First, I want to add an extra column, and uh, I have a, another video on uh, this, but I'm going to do a slightly different formula here. What our goal in this extra column in the data set is to say, is this the first time this, this uh, record has been entered? So we have rad, cool, cool. So here it should say 1, here it should say 0. So ready? We're going to do count if um, equals, and then open parentheses, count if the range we're going to count is right uh, one to my left and then shift colon and we're going to do an expandable range I'm going to click in the middle of the first B13 and F4 twice this one's locked this one's not as we copy this down when we get down to here it'll show the whole range here now comma and what is the criteria for count if this you see this is very clever because this will expand when it first sees whatever entry is one to my left it'll say it'll count one close parentheses equals one now this part of it the count f equals one that that's a true false so as we copy it down when it sees one as soon as it sees two or above it's gonna say false now uh, we want to close parentheses around that remember this is going to give us a true or a false as we copy it down to convert it to a one or a zero we simply multiply by one control enter to put that cell in and I'm going to double click and send it to the bottom so we get our ones and zeros now uh, I want to add all those up alt equals alt equals is the auto is the keyboard shortcut for auto sum click at the top control shift down arrow now watch this notice how when I do that it sends my cursor down if I were to hit enter right here notice the the thing I was just working on is kind of hidden above so let me show you again what you can do um, if you're all the way down at the bottom you can shift enter see enter puts it in and goes down one shift enter goes up so that's a clever way of jumping up and so you can still see the formula area that you were working on now let's create our formula It will be similar to the ones we did over here with if and rows and index and uh, small. Now we're going to start off and say if rows and we're in F13 so we'll put F dollar sign 13 colon F13. This is an expandable range and rows will ask the questions how many rows are there? Well 13 to 13 there's only one row. When we go down and the range expands it'll say 13 to 14 it'll say 2 so it's a clever way to get a series of number one, two, three is less than or equal to our uh, count because we want to turn. Notice I um, got the wrong formula there. I'm not taking factorials here. Okay, so we have um, our one, two, three, four, five. Is that greater than or equal to seven? Hey, we need to lock that seven right there. So I'm going to hit uh, F4 twice to lock it in front of the row since I'm copying it down. As soon as we get past uh, row seven, the formula will be turned off because there's only seven unique records so far. Comma. Now we get to the value if true, and that's going to be our index. Index in our array, we can simply highlight this range right here. I click the top cell, control shift down arrow, and I need to lock it so I'm going to hit the F4 key. That's another good trick also when you're doing cell references because it will not only lock it but jump it back up to where you were making your formula. And what's, um, what are we looking here? Is that equal to 1? Uh, sorry, I got the wrong range there. That was boop, this one here. Control shift down arrow, F4. Whoa, I must have had a little time warp there. Yeah, because the range we're trying to return values from are where the uh, records are, those words, cool, rad, etc. 
comma, and now we want a row number. Now, since some of the rows have ones and some of them don't, we're going to have to do our small if trick that we've been doing in all these. So we're going to do the small function. And then to get the array um, of trues and falses, which will ultimately give us an array of rows, because if we look over here, we have row 1, 2, 4. So somehow we need to get our uh, uh, small if construction we're about to do here to deliver those rows to the index. So we got our small, we need our array if. If what? Well, this logical test is pretty easy. It's this column, control shift down arrow, and I'll hit F4 to jump it back up, equals to 1. You see, I got confused earlier when I was working up here. That This is the true false. So if equals to 1, that'll deliver trues or falses. Anytime it sees a 1, that's a unique record. Comma, and what do we want if that's true? Well, we want the row. So we'll put row. We'll come over here. Um, it doesn't matter which one you highlight, because they're, yeah, I'm going to highlight this one. Control, Shift, Down, arrow and F4. So that's for the whole range. <coughs> so trues and falses, all the rows. Now, the problem right now is this is row 13. So we need to have one here, because that's the first record in this data set. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is subtract row of that very first top one. And what it does, if I hit F4 here, close parentheses, is when it gets to the first one, it'll say 13 minus 13, which is 0. So we need to add 1 to get it to, so to recognize this as the first one. When it gets down to here, it'll recognize it as 2. Because row 14 minus locked 13 will be 1. Plus 1 will give us 2, which is the second um, record in our data set. Look at that. I'm <coughs> typing badly all over the place here. All right, so we got our uh, trues and falses that will deliver our row. So we close parentheses on the if. Now, it's the small we need to worry about. We're actually, as the k, going to use this because we need a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up to 7 for our rows. Remember. For this data set, we have a true, true, so it's row 1, 2, 4. So somehow we need to, with the small, get the first one, which will be row 1, the second smallest, which will be 2, the third smallest, which will be 4. So that's why we're going to uh, uh, copy this. And as the second part of small, comma, that rows. Very clever way of um, extracting from this uh, array of row numbers here that we've created with the small and if all the right ones, the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, up to the seventh one. Close parentheses, and you can watch your screen tips on the small. Finally, the index, we've, we have our row number, so we close parentheses on that. We have our value of true, and all we need is a blank to uh, satisfy the first part of the if. So comma, double quote, close parentheses. See, when this is uh, jumps greater than 7, then we need a blank in the cell. Now, this is an array formula, so I'm going to control, shift, and enter. Now I can drag this down. And so we have not only uh, an ability to count our unique records, but also now we have a dynamic list. Now watch this. If I put do blah, blah, blah here, that all of a sudden changes. That's a dynamic list. Now what happens if you add something to the bottom? Right now it wouldn't work. The way you would do that is to convert this to a table. In Excel 2007, it's Control-T. In 2003, it's Control-L. I'm going to Control-T. you got to be careful that um, there's blanks all the way around your little table. I'm going to click OK. And now if I come to the bottom and I add a new record, notice the way you add a new record is you hit Tab. So I was there and I clicked Tab and it came down to here. Now I'm going to put uh, a new record here. And notice the 1 shows up there. We come up here, it's now 9. And sure enough, that's at the bottom. So that's a way to have, with a formula, a unique uh, set of records uh, dynamically. All right, we'll see you next trick.